everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about tarot and the best way I have found to learn all of the cards because the methods that are shared uh, online in books are not the best way to go and I'm going to be sharing why this book that I bought has been the best way to learn tarot and I've been trying to learn how to read tarot for like four or five years now oh my gosh that is insane no i think it must be four years yeah because five years is too insane i bought this book after searching for so so long for a good tarot book because you never know which one to choose because you don't want like a huge book that you can't take to places because you want to read tarot on the go so you want something that you can take with you but also you know that you can Google the meanings of cards if you need to. Um, and as a beginner, you just don't really know where to start because people will disagree with what the best book is to use. In this video, I make it look like you need this book to do this method, but you don't. You can do this method without the book. I'm just teaching the ideas that this book has because it's really, really good and it's a great way to learn tarot. But I finally settled on this book because I also have the two other ones of um, this series called In Focus and they are really really good books so I have one on chakras and I have one on crystals um, and what they make you do is do activities to learn about the magical thing they're talking about so what is amazing about this book um, and what led me to buy it is because of the good reputation with the other ones like because the other ones made an impression on my craft they really really helped me so I thought this would be a really good idea and it makes you work for it like they're not going to just give you like the full in-depth reason for like what a, the meaning of a card and what it means this book um helps you to dive deep into your own thoughts and see what you associate with the cards as well as just what they're supposed to mean because there's not like one thing that the tarot is supposed to mean that applies to everyone's life because there's no one size fits all with tarot and it's all about what we make of it, what we interpret from it ourselves that ultimately help us and is the reason why we read tarot in the first place. So um, I started using this book and I love it that you can write in it and it encourages you to write in it because it's really hard to write in books when you go so long not writing in books. So um, I started reading normally my tarot cards. So I have the um, the Rider Waite Smith deck. I think that's how you say it. People say it in all sorts of different ways, so I don't really know how you say it, but I love this deck. So I went so long without it, but I highly recommend it if you're starting out. Um, to go with this one or a variation of this one because you can get this one but get like glossy version or black and white I don't know there's probably different versions you can get um, but this deck is so amazing so I highly recommend if you're starting off with tarot and you don't know what deck to buy my friend asked me the other day which one should I start with and I said definitely definitely this one um, unless you don't like the imagery on it because some of it can be a little bit violent um, like if you don't like swords and um, the things that swords are associated with, um, some of it can be quite violent. There's also a bit of nakedness in a lot of the images. So um, it might not appeal to everyone, but for the vast majority of people, this is the deck to go for. So bearing that in mind, this video applies to this deck because you wouldn't be able to do it but I guess you could apply this um theory this principle that I'm going to talk about to um other decks and also with other things in your magical practice and other things in life and with studying and things so what I love about this book is and I found this after reading a couple of readings is the fact that it's divided into um most tarot books I've seen it goes through each suit and says um like one of swords means this two of swords means that three of swords means means that so in your brain you are getting all of these random cards and there's no associations which are building 
with each one and our memory works where it builds on things we already know and we associate with things so um, when I'm learning stuff at A level they try and associate it and build on for the knowledge that I learn at GCSE so if you don't know English education systems it's just one um, level of learning one age that you learn a load of stuff and then you move on to the next schooling level um, so it's building on what you learned before and it's the same like you learn maths as a very young age and that maths that you learn then you use for all of the maths that you use and learn more of throughout your life so you're building on um, memories you already have you're making connections in your brain and that is the best way to go with tarot and I love that this book makes you do that and it gives you activities to do it um so yeah and this is also the cheapest tarot book i found and i didn't buy it because it was cheap i bought it because it was good i that i knew it would be really good because of the other two books but it was two pound fifty two pound fifty in the works it was on sale and i didn't even see it when it wasn't on sale but i would have bought it when it wasn't on sale because it like these books are amazing they have these on amazon as well and i think they do it in hardback but even if you're paying like 12 pound for this because i think some of them can be 12 pound it is amazing truly amazing i absolutely love these books because like it really helps you put things into practice because you have to do the exercises yourself um so it's really fun it reminds me of like activity books you do as a kid um so i really love that so what it makes you do is you think about different symbols you have within tarot so you have the numbers um, and you see what the number itself means so then if you learn what each number means then you can kind of find an idea of what the tarot card is going to be about from knowing what the number means and what the um the suit means so you have pentacles you have cups or chalices you have swords and you have wands so you know that chalices are quite emotional um i don't know what the other three i just know that chalices are like emotional and it also teaches you about numbers and how um as a number get i should have researched before this video it teaches you about how when a number gets bigger then it means a certain thing it means that it has more power so it grows in power from the aces to like the 10 of something and um, each time it goes through this cycle it is a cycle so that um, each suit in the tarot deck is it going around in a circle so it builds in power before it then starts again so if you get um, a 10 come up in a reading then it means that you are about to finish a project and you are going to be going back to the start of the cycle starting another project um, or something else new relationship new job things like that why well, didn't i research before this video but what i'm saying is when you learn what the six of swords means you can then associate that with what um the six of pentacles means and then what the six of swords means and what the six of um wands means so you're not just learning what is the seven of swords what is the five of wands and then what is um the star you are linking them together and it's the same with the major arcana so it makes associations between cards like the high priestess and the hierophant so it says that they are both spiritual leaders so they're similar in their meanings but they have distinct messages and offer different guidance so they both have positions of power and it also has the images so you can see that they are both they both are similar in their imagery on the cards so when you are learning about the high priestess you can also learn about the hierophant and you can associate those two things together so that in your brain you can link them together so when you remember one thing you remember the other thing and then when you learn what they mean you could think of what is the parallel to that in the deck is there one that's the opposite of that is there something that is similar to that and then you build um the connections and then at the end of this process when you're learning what all of the different symbols mean within the tarot deck you start to make connections between each one and your knowledge about tarot becomes a web so one card links to the other because it has similar meanings um, but that's also the opposite to this one this one is kind of like um, this one but they're in like different phases of a project or of life 
or of a relationship or something like that. Um, and then this one is linked to this one because they're the same suit. And then you just get this whole massive web of random things that link together, even if you could imagine it as like a 3D kind of things linked together. So there's like little interconnecting webs between each one. And then that means that you can learn everything as a fuller picture and understand it because what a lot of people try and do is memorize each card and it's not building on anything in your brain. So once you've, once, uh, before you start getting these connections, you also need to start linking it to things that you have experienced in your life and things that you associate the cards with yourself because then it will build on your memory and you will remember what the card means because you have an experience or you've linked it to an experience in your life so you can link it and it creates a stronger memory so if you don't read tarot for a couple of months and you want to remember what a card means you try and remember what you associated it with in the first place to try and remember it and you can remember it more easily so it's very very clever another example of two cards linking together that this book highlights is the hermit and the hanged man so they're both similar because they give us a sense of turning inward to face ourselves but they're different in the way they use their solitude to give messages about them ourselves so they have a link for one thing and then they're different for another thing so you could even make like a big mind map to link the cards together and talk about stuff like this mind map though would have to like cover a wall because tarot is so so deep so in depth there's so much to learn about it but um yes and another thing i found great is you can write in this book and write when you get the card so i got the hanged man on 14th of january this year so what i'm aiming to do is always record when i do a tarot reading in this book and then what I can do in the future is have this whole book just filled full of dates of days when I got this so it's very very fun another thing people say is to read a card every day and I highly recommend that you do this because it helps you get in that um, habit of doing it and um, it means that you can make quicker progress because if you do loads of things like the same thing on one day for a really long time but then you don't look at it for three months then you're less likely to remember it than if you just did um, five minutes a day over the span of those three months you will remember it because your brain is doing it more and more so it's building stronger neuro connections in your brain so you will um, remember the stuff that you learn and then what I like about this book, it starts to link the major arcana with the minor arcana. So you can make links between the two. And I love that it has symbols and keywords for each one. So symbols, I usually think of like, like signs and symbols. Let's find one that I filled out. Um, I don't know if I have. And it also gives you the chance to um, design your own things, like you draw what a seven means in your brain. And it also gets you to combine cards together and talk about why they are significant. Six of Pentacles, it says that it is a generous card. So we have more than we need. We see the value in helping others by sharing our abundance. This card encourages us to give back to our communities and the people around us. So I said um, inspired and kindness are my keywords. So if I think of symbols, I might think of um, a cornucopia so it, it's like has a surplus of food it has lots of food to provide to people uh, another symbol might be um, a basket like a basket full of um, food like a hamper that you're giving someone as a gift so you're giving to people so that's all I really have to say for today I will leave a link in the description to buy this from the works and also from Amazon, as I said, it's £2.50 at the moment. Love bargains. Anyway, so that is that. That is everything for the video. Um, I hope this video helped. I might remake it when I have uh, completed that book, which will probably take me about a year uh, because I think that is the necessary amount of time to perfect something like that and learn something like that and have like proper talkings and things to say about it but yeah i'm going to be making some more tarot videos i'm going to be making a tarot video 
where um, like a tarot series where I try out the different spreads because the only spreads that I've tried are um, past, present, future and the um, the 12 year one which I did a video about if you'd like to see me read um, my year in tarot like this year the what the tarot said about what this year has in store for me please go and check it out it is my in my 12 days of your series i'll link it down below um and yeah i'd love to make loads more tarot videos like this and also more fun creative tarot videos i have some great great ideas which are going to be so much fun to do with tarot like how many things can i combine tarot with it's going to be great it's going to be amazing we've got one more subscriber until we hit 100 so if you would like to uh join a fast growing fun spiritual witchy pagan community please subscribe and join us here um everyone is so amazing so yeah i'm gonna take a little bit of a thumbnail now and i'm gonna go and learn about benzene um because it's really confusing um so that's all i have to say for today hope it was all helpful um and hopefully I'll be able to talk about this topic more confidently when I've practiced it myself. So yeah, um, I hope that uh, you get some interesting tarot readings. Let me know what your card of the day is. What card did you pull today? And that's it with the video. Bye.